A man is being held without bond after being arrested and accused of shooting and killing the owner of a Miami Gardens barbershop. And police say that the deadly dispute started as an argument over a car. Local 10 and Margot is live down with reaction from the victim's godson. So since this happened yesterday at 430, people have been coming here. In fact, they've been putting down candles and flowers right in front of the shop. People have been showing up all day, some to get a haircut, then finding out the news then, others just coming to pay their respects to a man they say was a pillar in this community. It, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, but I, you know, I know I just got to stay strong and keep pushing forward. And Andy Williams, who goes by his rap name, YM Bandit, says the man shot and killed in front of this Miami Gardens barbershop over the weekend was his godfather, O'Neal Anderson. He, he was the best best man, best person I knew, you feel me? Like, he, he always look, looked out for me since, you know, since I was a baby, you get what I'm saying? Like, without him, I wouldn't even be here. Anderson has owned Love Cuts for years, and everyone we've spoken with since the shooting says he's been a mentor and a friend to so many. I'm just so shocked. I'm very shocked. It's crazy, dog. He was a good, good, good person. On Sunday afternoon, right around 4.30, Miami Gardens police say 47-year-old Radcliffe Butler shot and killed Anderson. Butler apparently told detectives he believed Anderson had stolen a Range Rover from him until so he went to the barbershop to demand payment, but ended up shooting Anderson multiple times, killing him. Surveillance video from a store nearby shows what appears to be Butler pulling up in a Range Rover, and it also shows the moments after the shooting when a witness tackled Butler to the ground in the parking lot and held him there until police arrived to take him into custody. I'm going to use my... my, my um a public defender. Now, Butler is in jail facing multiple charges, including second degree murder. So Anderson's family says he never would have stolen a car and have absolutely no idea why this all happened in the first place. And it turns out the gun that Butler allegedly used in the shooting was actually stolen during a car burglary up in Boynton Beach. He's going to be held without bond for now. Live in Miami Gardens, I'm Ian Margo, Local 10 News. Just an awful story. Ian, thank you.